Welcome back, folks. Well, we got a lot to cover. Needham football comes into postseason play as one of the hottest teams in Division II South. They ended the regular season on a five-game winning streak, clinching the number three seed and securing a home playoff game. The Rockets welcomed the Warriors of King Philip to Memorial Field last week in a rematch of last year's D2 South semifinal game, in which KP won 28 to nothing. With a potential semifinal matchup this year against conference rivals Wellesley or Braintree awaiting, Needham came out with purpose and passion early in this one. And here's the highlights for you right now. All right, we're in the first quarter. Rockets first drive, and they waste little time scoring. Sam Foley throws a rainbow and hits John Andre in stride for a 56-yard touchdown pass. Needham's going to be out to a quick 7-0 lead. Now we're going to go to the other side of the ball. The Needham defense is going to be ferocious all night. Here, Rudy Hassenfuss blitzes up the middle and levels King Phillips' John DeLuca. Defense playing with a purpose. On now to the second quarter. Stop the presses, because guess what? Luke Garrity is going to make a highlight reel catch. One-handed touchdown grab in the end zone between two defenders. That's going to put the Rockets up 14 to nothing and they're gonna take that lead into halftime. All right, now we're gonna fast forward to the fourth quarter. Needham's up 17 to nothing, but here's Jared Scalar. He's gonna put the game away as he takes this handoff, 43 yards to the house. It's gonna make it 24 to nothing, and that would be pretty much it. Here's the final seconds. The defense seals it. They pressure DeLuca, and they're gonna force a fumble, recover it. Rockets advance with a 24 to nothing victory. Next up is a D2 South semifinal game. Needham will host Braintree, who upset Wellesley last weekend. The Rockets beat the Womps in Braintree 22, 29-19 earlier this year. Kickoff is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Well, football is not the only fall team who made the tournament. That can't really surprise you, can it? Both the boys' and girls' soccer teams were awarded the number four seeds in their respective Division I South brackets. Similar to the football team, the soccer teams will face familiar foes in their opening matchups. The boys are hosting BC High tonight at Memorial Field in a rematch of last year's sectional final. Meanwhile, the girls are hosting Weymouth tomorrow afternoon at Cricket Field. The field hockey team grabbed the number two seed in the Division I North bracket after finishing the regular season with an 18-0-2 record and defeated Newton North 4-1 earlier today at DeFazio Field in their first round matchup. They move on to play Winchester on Saturday at 6 p.m. Switching over to the court now, the girls volleyball team has returned to the playoffs after 11-7 mark this year. With that, they were able to get a home playoff game as the number seven seed. The Rockets will go up against the 10th seeded Revere Patriots tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 p.m. at the high school. So let's gear up the Needham Mites and be sure to support the Rockets in a busy Friday slate tomorrow, starting with the girls' soccer team, followed by volleyball, and then football at night. I know, it's a lot to remember. 